What is good, Tarot Tribe? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. And in today's reading, I'm going to be looking at a very empowering message from your higher self. So this message is for exactly where you are right now in your life, a message that you really, really need to hear. So it's not by coincidence that you are here. Just know that synchronicity is truly magic. So whichever deck is really standing out to you the most is probably going to be the deck for you. So if you guys are new to the Tarot Tribe, shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the Tarot Tribe where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, true. Shout out to all of you guys who are still here. Subscribe to the family, to the Tarot Tribe. It is very, very appreciated from us to you to become a part of a community that uplifts one another. You're at an advantage. Most people don't even know about Tarot, but you guys are here for a reason. So if you are here and you are inspired to see more pick a card readings, I just did post a link in my description of secret pick a card readings. For those of you who are looking for additional readings outside of YouTube, I did just post a couple of secret pick a card readings where you can access off the grid pick a card readings without the ads. Also, please keep in mind that I have closed my schedule um, until further notice. So there is no way that you can book a reading or a session at this moment, but you can register for notifications if I do decide to open my books again. So if someone is reaching out to you, just know that that's not me. I only have one Instagram and that is at the tarot priest where you guys can follow me there for update. So check always the pinned comment below and my description for news and updates. Remember the question is, what message do you have for me higher self that I really need to hear right now? What message do I really, really need to hear? And then just trust that whichever deck is standing out to you the most is the message that you need to hear. And remember that your guides would never lead you astray. Always follow your intuition. So we do have four different decks you can choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's hop into the reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now. So you guys could have been drawn to this deck because it is dealing with a lot of relationships, friendships, mentorships, family relationships. A lot of base chakra things are here. So I'm definitely feeling like you guys are going through some sort of revelation. Let's see what this is about. Choices, feeling blocked, restrained. Use your time well, make every moment count. So let's see what this is about. We have the magician. We have the eight of inspiration. Something is shifting in your life, deck number one. So if you guys have been kind of like in a rut or feeling like things have been on pause or a pit stop, it's definitely for a reason. In fact, I feel like it is a pit stop, but it's necessary because pit stops help you recharge, help you get inspired. Whatever this shift, this breakthrough that you're going through, um, it could be happening within the next few months is for you to position yourself to be able to manifest something new. You are manifesting a new life, almost like an upgraded version of yourself and this also comes with an upgraded version of your reality. So I'm sensing that there is some type of shift here that's been happening. So if you have been feeling stuck, there is definitely a decision that I'm seeing that that is made, that is need to be made. We have Aries energy. We have Aquarius energy. Okay, we have the star card hope. It's almost like taking a chance on yourself is what I'm hearing, taking a chance on your dreams understanding that every moment is for a reason. You guys could be seeing a lot of synchronicities with numbers because we do have the clock here and it says, use your time well, make every moment count. And really when we see those numbers, we understand it's the moment that matters. So I am seeing that you guys, it, it's more of like getting into this confident energy for yourself. Okay. Believing in yourself. This is huge here with the emperor. This is all about embracing the masculine energy to of leadership not waiting for someone to build the dream for you, but actually creating it yourself. This is huge shifts here, okay? Huge, huge shifts. No one is going to do this for you. In fact, I'm hearing that's maybe what you've been waiting for is yourself to kind of make a decision. And it's like bet on you is what I'm hearing. Lots of hope here, lots of inspiration here on the other side. 
So I definitely feel like this pit stop was necessary. It gave you time. This pit stop could even be a, like, could have felt like a year or so. You know, it, it, it doesn't have to just be like this monetary thing. This feels like it's been a situation where you've kind of felt stagnant, but something's getting ready to come and inspire you very, very quickly. It's a shift. So you are manifesting here. I see that you are the magician. However, the emperor and the, the star card are both here. It's like this need for you to take this leadership into your own dreams. You're making this happen. You're the star. So yeah, if you're here, it's like you cannot settle in life, period. Soon as your spirit or soul feels like you're settling, you will get this uncomfortable feeling of needing to shift something. If you don't shift something, it almost feels like you're stuck in a rut. And that's because there's kind of this need to make a decision. And the decision is to bet on you to go after that dream. Okay. Don't them to fit in. Exactly. So this is where the relationships come in because many, 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 many of you are learning to embrace your true self. If you're here, this is a huge message. We've been talking about this a lot. Embracing your true self sometimes requires you to get from among people who think they know you, right? People who've known you for years or so forth, they hold you to the standard of being this person so you can't really grow. There's no room to evolve or grow or expand. So it's necessary for, for you to get from among the people who say they know you because this is like a clean slate of knowing you because those people have made you feel uncomfortable with being even with either being more than or having more than and so there's this complacency of settling because of that so you're definitely not here to to uh dim your light okay you're definitely not here to dim your light you're a star okay just think of that when the when the entire world goes black you're still shining you're a star like it's deep Okay, practical advice, you guys could be a Libra. You don't have to be. A new romantic cycle begins, okay? So we're gonna get some clarity on that. All right, so we're gonna get some clarity with a different deck just to kind of see why some of this energy is here. I'm also feeling like being challenged in your relationships, your friendships, okay? Now, I, I hear something about like being cool for a few of you, okay? You're naturally already a star. So if you're trying to fit in, it's because you don't know yourself, because you would not need, you would not need to fit in. You would just understand that you are here to stand out and in fact will inspire others to do the same. Um, and so you will not be here to dim that light. So judgment, like people will say, what people will say about you, all of that is kind of what you're releasing, not caring about what people think. Okay, let's clarify why the star is here. Six of pentacles in reverse and the nine of wands. Let's get one more card for this. Thank you. We have the king of swords here, okay? Now, this is more of an exploration from what I'm seeing. Let's see what else this is about spiritually. Doors are opening, you decide, rewards. Yeah, this is more of an exploration. So this is not going to be a logical, characteristic way of explaining who you are. So there's no like plan for you to be this star. You just already are this person. So there's more of this like needing to kind of go through this portal again by making the decision. And let's just see what this decision has to do with because we do have some energy here. What is portal here for, for deck one? King of cups, queen of cups. So there is definitely a decision here. Could be a relationship for some of you guys. Could be, okay, for some of you. I'm definitely seeing we have a new romantic cycle. So some of you either have let go or are learning how to balance the relationships that you do have. Yeah, balance, for sure. So some of you who are in relationships, I'm hearing there's going to be a new cycle that's coming very, very soon, a new romantic cycle. And it, it's definitely feeling like it's the same person, whoever you're with. If you're ever wondering, this is definitely a soulmate connection. There's some deep love here with the uh, emotions. 
Now, if you guys are single, obviously this is about a new relationship that is coming in, um, but it's taking some time here with the strength card. You're learning how to find your happiness for those of you who are single before this person comes. That's actually what makes them come is your happiness without. So that's another decision you're making as well as choosing yourself. So, so that's something. And then those of you who let go of someone that was necessary in that time being for this new romantic cycle to begin. So those are the few messages I'm getting. What's going on with the swords energy, the tower, the devil, the fool. Yeah, there is definitely some fear here with just going after what it is that you truly desire and dream of. We have a lot of major arcana of cards that are in the reverse, which tells me that there is a journey. And this journey is going to require you to trust in yourself and know that if you feel like a star sometimes, it might be because you truly are a star. So there's a lot of acceptance of who you are in most of this energy is just accepting that and understanding this journey is not about intellectually being smart or the richest or the most famous. There's, there's a lot of messages here. This is about doing what feels good and following your intuition. Okay. With the owl here, your intuition is most important. I'm even feeling like some of you guys who watch movies and you're inspired, there's messages in that. So there is communication coming from your spirit guides fertility. So some of you are definitely could be expanding physically, literally with the fertility here very, very soon with the three. Um, some of you, very few could be your first child. I just want to say that that's definitely here. We have good energy coming from the, the heart chakra. So if you guys were wondering about that, it's definitely here as far as beauty in this fertility. Now, for most of you, I'm getting this as a project that you guys are birthing. This is also a new life that you are birthing. And look at this. We have spiritual quest. So some of you, what spirit is saying is relinquish what you think. Okay, just for a few and follow what feels good to you. And some of you, this is going to lead you into better opportunities, better positions. I'm even hearing in your career, a lot of you, there's promotions that are waiting for you just based on you stepping up promotions, entrepreneurship, businesses, many, many things, relationships, just for you to step up in this emperor energy and be the star that you are. Let's get some last words for exactly what they need to know and hear right now. What question? <laughs> I love it. What if it was easy? Yeah, because I think that some of you guys are like, well, how, how am I going to be a star? How am I going to do this? How? These questions will be answered on this spiritual quest. That's the purpose of the spiritual quest to be yourself, because once you are yourself, you will attract the reality that belongs to your true self. Some of you, that reality that belongs to your true self is fame and fortune. Okay. And I'm not saying this in the egotistical way. It's just being well known and also having um, some type of star quality that could bring a lot of abundance in here with the inspiration. Okay. So that's definitely here too, but it's saying, what if it was easy? It doesn't have to be hard calling the universe, the stars and the angels. So sometimes you guys are calling in these situations so that you can see that you have what it takes to get out of them. Sometimes we have to see it to believe it. So some of you, um, your higher self is literally putting you through these obstacles so that you can see, look, you have strength. Look, it was easy. Look. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing that and not being afraid of making the wrong decision. I feel like that's something too that I'm hearing here. Okay, lots of Aquarius energy, um, lots of Libra Aquarius energy and Gemini, lots of air energy that I'm getting just like overthinking these things and kind of talking yourself out because you think you're hard. They're hard. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease and call in grace. You are supported. Okay, list 10 possible ideas for your soul's current calling lean in with ease. So 10 things that you really, really would love to do and not thinking about how hard it would be to do, but focusing on it so that you can have that grasp and concept of what you truly, truly love and what truly matters to you. So you guys are birthing a new reality. Okay. And all it is, is it's taking you to make a decision different from the ones you've been making. This is going to create that new shift, but the ultimate climax reality would be for you to be the star that you're here to be. And this doesn't have to do with fame. So some of you, you might not want that, but I do see that your light will bring a lot of happiness to your family, to your friends and the people around you. So 
If you guys chose deck number one, I'm hoping that this was an empowering message to remind you that you are here, but you are not alone. You are here working with others, your spirit guides and whatever you choose to believe that are helping you co-create this reality. So a lot of you may have went through experiences where you were exhausted or drained. And that those are usually the places where we relinquish the control to God universe. When we're like, okay, we don't have it anymore, but spirits like, let's work together and make this happen so if you guys chose deck number one this is your message for exactly what you need to hear right now and that is to continue to go after your dreams and continue to not resist the greatness that's within you as the magician and the star and the emperor you couldn't dim your light if you wanted to i mean this is like heavy energy here okay this is this is just like you can't help it but but to just be who you are. And that naturally is going to open the doors that you're seeking to. All right, guys, I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and an empowering message for exactly where you are right now. Let's see what this yellow is all about. All right, deck number two, you guys are definitely going through a solar plexus upgrade and this is really cool basically it's like a, a glow up it's also like a huge transformation so the yellow you could have been drawn to this because of the empowerment that's behind it so this is a lot of self-will also your self-esteem your confidence lies in the solar plexus area this is kind of like right in the median of just that stability and knowing who you are so you guys could be a Taurus, you don't have to be, but there's definitely a sense of a transformation here with the 13th. This is the death. You could also be a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. And usually what this means is it's an energetic upgrade that you're going through so that you can be in a position to receive prosperity. Let's see what your tarot cards say. Yeah, nine of materials. That's a lot of money there. I love it. So this is a lot of like good luck. And basically it's like when you feel good and you feel your best which is why it's important that you take some time to invest in how you feel about yourself. I don't know why they're bringing me here, how you feel about yourself. Okay. When you look good, you feel good. And this is what's attracting prosperity into your life. Also connections, networking. Okay. Nine of materials is all about luxury and it's also about success and contentment with your finances. So I'm definitely feeling good about these cards. Okay, we have the nine of voices. Some of you can feel like you're really close to getting here, but not exactly sure how it's gonna happen. Yeah, we have Leo energy. It's like you're seeing it, but you're not seeing the entirety of this vision that's getting ready to come forth in your finances, how it's gonna play out, some of you with your businesses. But this is about empowering. I feel like some of you are even here to empower others. We have the, the woman, she's literally sitting on top of the lion. Okay, the priestess, I love it. So you do have insight here, we're gonna get into that. And then the seven of voices, which voice to follow? Okay, that's what I'm hearing, which voice to follow? Seven of voices. There is a lot of information that's out there to you that maybe you're looking into. And I'm definitely sensing that spirit is saying that you already have the answers that you need. And not to take consideration of everyone's opinion about this new transition in your life, what they think about it. There's a sense of needing to protect this like newer version of yourself. With the seven of voices, I want to get clarity here because this person is wearing a mask. The high priestess is here, which is I do feel like you could have and can be experiencing distancing yourself from people who make you feel bad. There's many, many things here. Let's get some clarity. Why is the why is the priestess here for deck two? Exactly what they need to hear. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Seven of swords twice. So this is some type of revealing here of someone who um, cannot really be trusted. 
You know, this is a thief in the night. This is betrayal. Um, let's get some more clarity. Now, if a person comes out on the next card, then it's going to confirm this is an actual person. If not, this could be also some of the things that you're you're hearing about yourself. So I just want to get clarity on where the this betrayal is coming from for deck two. Queen of Cups. OK, so it is definitely someone here. Um, that maybe you had to make a decision spirits. Yeah, definitely giving me all of these cards. The Queen of Cups is here. So that does confirm that some of you could be gathering the strength to separate yourself. OK, understand it's not your job to make other people happy. That's something I'm hearing, too. You don't owe anybody anything. OK, there's a sense of freedom that you're getting ready to go through through this empowerment of not caring about what people think about you because there's so much prosperity and so much amazing things ahead of you to be focused on all of the other things. So I'm definitely feeling like this is a death that, that you're experiencing. Let's get some more information, recognition and reward, but it's setting you up for and preparing you for success here. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. I feel like majority of you were probably attracted to this deck. Okay, you're definitely going to make it through. Some of you need to just set more boundaries with the people around you, becoming braver, resilient, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective so that you can gather a fresh perspective of yourself. See, this is a little tricky here because of the energy. We have the strength and we also have the priestess here. And this is telling me that with these cards that some type of revealing is happening. Okay and something that you know that you should trust when it comes to certain people in your life, especially when they don't see you for who you are. Okay, this is part of, this is part of revealing who your truest self is with this empowerment here. Okay, so spirit, source, universe, whatever you believe is kind of giving you this energy so that you can see that you're the one who can create your reality. And just as you can create your reality, you can also manifest soul tribe and relationships that are going to replenish you. More on the seven of swords. Queen. So we have two queens here. Okay. Queen of pentacles and a queen of emotions. Some of you guys could be a situation in family, could be with your parent, doesn't have to be, could be at your job or work, multiple people, um, and you're just learning to kind of protect your energy and take that space to yourself when necessary. I definitely feel like if you were drawn to this deck, you're an empath, but you're here to learn that your life is a canvas. And if your life is a canvas, you're the artist, then using your imagination to create this reality is the next step. But you must know who you are to know that you have the ability to do that. And I know that we say it, yeah, create our own reality. Okay, Tarot Breeze. No, I'm being serious about this reality, like a whole nother shift. And some of these things, I, I feel like they may have not been brought to you just yet, but I definitely feel like you've been going through some things here and having resilience is something that you've gained from this. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what's best for you. Let's get some clarity. Yeah. Definitely, definitely relationships, four of wands in reverse, okay? You do have family, and family has nothing to do with biologically. There are people that you will meet that you feel like you've known for a long time. This would be your soul family. I do see something coming in, though. I do feel like there was some prosperity or some type of career or some type of dream that you have that maybe you put on hold because you question it because of the opinions of others. OK, these opinions from others cannot be trusted, not just because, you know, so some of them could be coming from a low frequency, but because they don't know what's best for them they are not happy for themselves. So therefore to be happy for you is something that's asking a lot. So some of this is innocently not knowing what advice to give you. I do feel like some of you for a few, it could be even your parents with trying to tell you what's best for you. But some of you are just learning that, listen, follow your intuition. The high priestess is here. Okay. And I just want to get one more card on why that high priestess is here. The lovers. 
Some of you are definitely learning how to have your identity outside of your relationship, not allowing that person to have so much power that they determine who you are. Okay, for some of you, I'm definitely feeling that with the lover's card here, but having balance. Balance practically and spiritually in your life. Okay, we have dance with life. We're going to get some more clarity on this, these lovers. And we also have counsel of light. Yeah. So I definitely feel like source and the council of light it says divine orchestration, divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realm. So there are people here. There are deities here, gods, ancestors, ascended ones that are here. So you are connected to something entirely much greater than yourself, source, universe. And I definitely feel like this connection that you have this council of light is also what empowers you to be your greatest version of yourself. This empowers you to be able to create the reality that you want. So dancing is all that you, that you have to, to do here. <laughs> I'm seeing with dance with life, do something to change your energy. There has to be a shift here of frequency of vibration of seeing how some of these things that have happened were best for you and trusting that the universe and your higher self knows what's best for you. So what spirit is saying is, look, you have prosperity ahead, a lot of prosperity, lots of prosperity. We have three cards come out to confirm that, okay? But we also have some people around you who just cannot be trusted here. And how could you trust them if they don't trust themselves? They're not honest with themselves, how can they be honest with you? So you're learning to trust only yourself. So sometimes higher self can put us through these situations where maybe we get crossed or betrayed or lied to so that we can see, mm, should have trusted myself because this trusting yourself is more than just with your friendships, with your relationships. Okay. Trusting yourself to know that if this is what's best for me, I should stay trusting yourself to know that, Hey, this is what I'm here to do. I'm not going to let fear talk me out of it. Distinguishing between the voices. Is this your intuition or is it your fear? That's where the work is here. Is this your intuition or is it your fear trying to talk you out of certain things? Or is it comfort trying to keep the people around, you know? So this is all about self-awareness here. All about self-awareness. All right. Let's get one more card for the lovers and why the lovers was here for exactly what they need to know. Thank you. Yeah, we have eight of cups. Some of you could have just walk, walked away or feels like you need the power or the strength to walk away from a certain situation. Again, it could take it how it resonates, could be a relationship, could be a friendship, could be a family member, you know, someone who could just be bitter or negative about their financial situation. So now you are kind of in that energy, but no, Spirit is saying, get away from that so that you can start planting seeds of actually manifesting more, okay? Your environment matters, high priestess again. Okay, so following your high priestess with this situation here, I'm definitely feeling like it could be a love situation for some of you, and it could be temporarily, but I'm definitely seeing that. Just know that if you're here, your purpose, even right now in this period of your life, is empowering, to empower you. And sometimes for you to be empowered, you have to go through certain situations to see that you are the one in power. Okay. So you're becoming braver. You're, you're growing. And even though you might not see it entirely, you're learning that you do have the authority to make your own decisions and trust yourself and, and know what's best for yourself. Let's see what your question was spirit. What question would you want them to ponder on? Thank you. Am I in my head or am I in my heart? Look at this at the bottom of the deck. I don't know how this card got in here. Endless possibilities. I'm hearing don't limit the universe. That's what I'm hearing. Don't limit the universe deck too. Even for some of you who are single looking to manifest your life partner, don't limit the universe. Okay. There are billions of people in this world and you have many soulmates that you will be able to connect to. Following your intuition is definitely going to lead you to that. Am I in my head or am I, am I in my heart? Because when you're in your head, not everything is possible. When you're in your heart, 
anything is possible because your heart is your soul. Okay. So let's talk about this. What is the quality of your self talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and the limitations will take over. Exactly. Every limitation keeps us there, keeps us small. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life, your life. For some reason, I keep hearing that it's your life. You don't owe anybody anything. I just keep hearing this for you deck too. I hope this is bringing freedom to you. Okay. Some of you it's parents. Okay. For some of you, I keep hearing that because it says you're the creator of your own life. And it says your life. It's just reminding you like, Hey, this is your life. At the end of the day, we come alone, we leave alone. Okay. As far as physically, where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. So that's that balance here. Today, master your mind, watch an inspired video, read something empowering. That's crazy. Cause we shuffle. You seen it. You seen it. Look at this empowering book. Okay. You're here to empower, but in order for you to empower, you must in first be empowered yourself before you can empower others. Write out the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. See, mm, 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 deck, deck two. You got to believe in yourself, even if nobody does. Because if you wait for others, you might be waiting for a long time because not even they believe in their dreams. So this is where you take authority over your plane and become the pilot of your own plane and not allowing others to be the pilot of your, your destiny here. You're the one in the driver's seat, not the passengers. As you're allowing people's opinions to come in, then you take a back seat to your own pilot, to your own plane. You're learning to trust your intuition, but it's important that you understand the difference between intuition and your mind. So as you can hear the ambulance outside, I definitely feel like there could be distractions. And once these things are cut off or at a distance, clarity will come in and you will be very surprised at how empowered you feel. So you are becoming the pilot of your own plane, not the passenger, not the backseat driver, but the one who's in charge of your own life. So walk away from what you feel you need to walk away from so that you can get closer to the reality that you actually do want to experience. So with that being said, if you guys chose deck number two, this is all about empowering. And if anything, this definitely was a message for you, if not for anyone else to understand that there is endless possibilities, but you must be open to that path of the impossible, the impossible, how, how, how will this happen? That's where your intuition comes in. You have a gift, use it. Deck number two, you have a gift. I'm on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your message. This is your message from higher self regarding an empowering message for exactly where you are right now. And I believe we led with this step out of your comfort zone, deck number three. Maybe you've been hearing this a lot. Once you step out of your comfort zone, accelerated motion. So some of you, you know, content creators, definitely it's kind of ringing a bell to me. Content creators also maybe those who just want to be a speaker, life coach, light worker, healer, tarot reader. Um, you don't have to be. But stepping out of your comfort zone can mean many, many things. It could mean reaching out to the person that you have a crush on with the night of emotions here. It could be going after something that you are really inspired to go after. So take this how it resonates. Okay, we have the muse of emotions. We have the lover. So we have Gemini energy here. You don't have to be. We also have the five of emotions. So many of you are going through a lot of emotional things right now. As you see all the blue, even the be candid, this is all about your throat chakra. So this is the blue highlighting that speaking up, but being candid about it, being nice about it. There's a way to speak your truth without feeling like an asshole. 
because you know people have their stereotype of people who speak the truth and some of you you're learning to be unapologetically yourself and as you speak your truth in a very kind way it's setting boundaries boundaries in your relationships and also in your partnerships okay so i definitely feel like there is and could be could have felt like a loss happening here with the four of inspiration we're going to get some clarity something's coming in here i definitely feel like you guys could be dealing with a life partner someone that you've been with for some time for those of you who it's resonating with because that's here or some of you are are definitely manifesting this life partner as you're getting out of this comfort zone okay yeah we have the eight of cups at the very bottom clear the energy for deck three what exactly do they need to hear about this relationship yeah, I feel like something new is coming in for those of you who are single. Definitely something new is coming in here. There's some harmony and unity here with the four of inspiration. This would be someone who puts in effort and it would also feel very equal with the lover's card here. Lots of emotions here, but I definitely think that there was some type of letting go to even get here in the first place. So spirit, please confirm why this five of cups is here. Why is this five of cups here? Because someone's coming forth for those of you who are not in a relationship, someone is definitely coming forth. Okay, patience though, I'm seeing. With the seven of pentacles, patience. We have the moon, Pisces energy. Some of you may be waiting for a job opportunity, so we're gonna get into career as well. Okay, how this is gonna work, how this is gonna happen. Some of you, it's speaking up at your job, getting promotions that you want, stepping up in that leadership role or position. So why is the five of emotions here? Yeah, it's some type of, could be a loss. Some of you could have not gotten something exactly as you wanted to happen financially with the Queen of Pentacles, um, Ten of Swords, some type of ending. Some of you guys could have left the job or wanting to leave a, a job or a situation that's kind of heavy right now um, and not really knowing how this is going to happen. That could be where the comfort zone is coming in. Um, some of you, if it's not leaving a job, you're definitely being inspired to be a leader of your own finances or your own stream of income. Clarify that for me, their career. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yep. Some of you guys could be in business with someone else with the lover's card here. So there could be some conflict of interest or um, it could be a benefit. Take that how it resonates as well. But I'm definitely feeling like something is here financially for you when you are in authority of these finances this would be a ceo someone who doesn't worry about money and also has their own stream of income let's see what this is about take a break yeah a life's work not a season get off the treadmill so some of you could just be overworking needing to take a step back and just I'm, I'm feeling like there's a smarter path here with your finances making more money so that you're not either i don't feel like let's see let's see where this five is coming from oh okay yeah some of you it could just simply feel like you are here to do more okay because some of you i do feel like you have a career it's cool um there's nothing wrong you're stable but i do feel like what you could be feeling more of is just understanding that there's more for you to experience outside of this career okay let's see what your overall theme was Find the lesson in keeping up. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning and keeping up. Immense effort. Advance. Mm, 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 mm. Many, many, many situations here. Okay. Child of the cosmos. So many of you are here to do something much greater than you're already doing here. There could be some revelations with why, why you are at a job that maybe some of you don't want to be at for those of you. And then we also have the situation of discovering that there's more for you to learn in a situation that you're still at, okay? So take that how it resonates, but definitely a lot of career shipments here, okay? Um, we have the queen of pentacles, but then we have the king of pentacles. We're gonna confirm that. Why is the king here? Knight of wands, yeah. There's something more fulfilling here um, that I'm definitely seeing. And it's going to happen very quickly for those of you. It could be an idea. It's going to bring you a lot of money. I'm definitely sensing. 
And if you're still waiting, even with the patience here for when this is going to happen, it's because you're still having revelations and you're still learning. You know, and even sometimes we don't see it right in front of us. We're like, what are we here for? What are we learning for? But I'm definitely seeing that wherever you're at, okay, even myself, I did an internship for years without pay. And then I stayed in a situation with a, a low amount of pay for a long time um, just because I loved it. And what I learned was even more so all of the tactics of what the owner was doing that I'm now implementing in my own business. So sometimes we don't know why we're led to a certain situation until there, there are experiences that you will use for later on. So trust that where you are is where you need to be. And then when you have that excitement and inspiration to move or go to another place, because I'm definitely seeing, let's see why the moon is here. Because this, some of you, it's like, if it's a career change, it's good. Why is the moon here? Yeah, some of you definitely, yeah, the sun, okay? This is huge. Like, I just feel like things are really shifting for you and they're happening very, very quick. A lot of you know who you are, what you're here to do. You're not dwelling on the things that you have let, left behind. And I'm just seeing that moving forward, there's an inspiration here in your career, an opportunity that's going to bring you much more time is what I'm hearing, okay? It's not so much about having more money as much as it is having more time. All right, so let's get some confirmation for why Be Candid is here for deck three. Thank you. Fulfillment. Yeah, you guys are definitely stepping into your masculine energy. We have lots of kings here. I feel like there's a huge shift. A lot of the things that you've been waiting for are getting ready to happen. And all of this is also happening as you step out of your comfort zone. Okay. Um, I see just amazing things here. A lot of maturity in your spiritual growth. You've come a long way. I feel like you've learned a lot also in your spiritual growth. So now it just seems like there's nothing but fulfillment here. The only thing is just speaking up, speaking your truth. Okay. And let's see why find the lesson is here. One card for deck three. Find the lesson. Thank you. Yeah, it's in your finances mostly that you guys are learning that to be abundant is also part of who you are. It's a very, very big part of spirituality is abundance. Now, money has not really anything to do with abundance. Abundance means that you have more than enough. In abundance, you can have of health, of wealth, an abundance of, you know, these, an abundance of sage. But in this sense, you have an abundance of practical things that I see that you're here to, to have. Anytime the pentacles come up, this is going to be about earthly matters, anything earthly, tangible houses. Um, some of you may even be looking into buying houses or vacation homes or Airbnb properties. There's many, many things here of just masculine energy of investments, thinking, um, being open to maybe possibilities that you didn't think were were available, but as you're speaking up and kind of stepping out of your comfort zone about some of these things you want to do, these projects, people are listening and you'll be surprised at who the universe is going to bring into your, your place. But I just see that keeping up is here. Um, and I want to pull one more card for you, deck three, for what is expected to come understanding. So yeah, we have a lot of inner knowledge here. So you guys do have look determination at the bottom. This is all about the base chakra. So this next level in your life is being open to the divine support of the universe, understanding that you're a child, but the intelligence of the universe is what lies within you. So deck three, you actually are at an advantage right now. So some of you who have already been doing that work spiritually, there's nothing but breakthroughs to come. There's not really much of going through the past circumstances that you've already went through that is necessary. In fact, I'm hearing that you don't need to go through anything else that you went through in the past. And if you are in a situation, then it is to understand that, hey, there's still lessons here to learn so that you don't fall into the situation again. And just trusting that everything is for a reason. You know, this is really trusting source, really, really trusting source. Let's see what question higher self would want you to contemplate on. Deck three. Okay, yeah, lots of understanding, inner standing, understanding, okay? Third eye opening, shifting, dreams, realities of what you're here to experience, very, very big things. Some of you I do see in here, umpires, empires. 
dreams, chasing your dreams, being this version of who you dream to be. Okay, there's many, many things here. Question for deck three. Got two, okay. Where am I called to use my voice right now? Okay, spirit, very, very clear. Throat chakra, okay. So some of you not being afraid to speak your truth, speak your truth is what I'm hearing. So definitely you are called to either be, I was saying earlier, speaker, tarot reader, someone who uses their voice, singer, artist, um, author. Some of you can even be animated series, cartoons. Anything with using your voice is very, very big to producing a stream of income for you, okay? Even if you're a manager or a director at a corporate job, this is still someone who has the authority to use their voice because that's something that you do have is a gift of voice. And I do see that things are going to be moving very rapidly for you. And it's mostly because of all of what you've already accomplished and overcame. There's nothing but happiness here. The only thing in the past are just endings and doors that you've closed. You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters and it's time for you to share it with the world. So if you guys are here, definitely content creators or people who want to share your story, want to inspire others. Cause remember we're all connected. And so you sharing your story helps someone who resonates with your story. Cause again, we're all one. And those people in the world will resonate with you. It says, share your story with at least one person and be brave and speak your truth. Okay. Your voice will be a catalyst for healing in others. So this is a reminder. If you guys are here that you do have superpowers. Look, we all have superpowers. Yeah. So this is a reminder that you're here to be and do big, big things. This would be the deck that I would resonate with the most. I would definitely say on the spiritual journey that you're here. Your soul tribe, you are part of a team who brings the light to the world. And that's through love, could be through abundance, but it's mostly through being you, okay? But this isn't just something spiritual. This is the truth and what you're going to see with yourself. And even in your dreams and what you're here to accomplish, you're going to realize there's got to be more because you're connected to something that's helping you co-create. Do I know all my strengths and am I using them? We all have superpowers but it's us, up to us to uncover them. When we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our zone of genius. This inspires others to do the same. How can I use one of my soul gifts today to contribute to this and ready the world? Okay, so understand that these strengths and talents and intuitions, insights, gifts, explore all of them, okay? Explore all of these gifts that you're giving. Um, if you have information and in downloads, if you're an artist, okay, there's just so many people here, so many beautiful energy here of just excellence and prosperity and people who just are a glow to the ones around them. And that's because you are here as a child of the universe to do many, many things. Let's see what else you will do. What else will they do before we leave? Yeah, look at this prosperity revelation. You couldn't get away from it if you wanted to. Cultivation. Some of you are artists. Some of you are artists, have music, healing. Write it. Post it. Post the video you've been waiting to post or post it. What are you waiting for? I mean, it's time. Deck three, it's time. You know, I know that we go over these messages and we're like, okay, exactly what you need to hear. But I'm telling you, now is the time. And, and when you realize that and you just go after it, get out of this comfort zone, it's going to happen so quickly so quickly. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, this happened. I know it was going to happen quickly, but this happened quicker than I thought. So yeah, the revelation is now. Okay. This isn't something where, oh, you have to go through this healing and this is going to happen. No, now's the time. And prosperity is here from, from all of this. So this is just beautiful. Yeah. The sun card, just everything you've worked hard for is paying off the fruits of your labor coming forth. Um, you're still learning lessons, even though you're shifting in this, if you're wondering, okay, why isn't this happening? It says discover the purpose, trust that you are learning. Okay. Most of the time and all of the time, it's us in the way. Trust me. Why we don't have what we want is us, not the universe. It's us resisting. So being open to receive is something that's big here too. So 
if you guys chose deck number three, just amazing, awesome things that you guys are going to do. You're definitely powerful. Hashtag down below. I am powerful to confirm that you receive that this is the message. You're powerful enough to attract your soulmate, your life partner. You're powerful enough to love many people from all around the world. Just infinite love that pours through you. You're powerful enough to manifest any practical material that you want here on earth. Okay. These are real real things. And, and sometimes if we don't believe in them, higher self puts us through a situation so that we can see that we actually do have that power. So if you're going through these things, wake up to your power. All right, guys, I'm moving on to deck four. All right. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading for your empowering message from higher self regarding exactly where you are right now. The courageous puny multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. So you are very unique. And this is for a reason is what I'm hearing. That's what higher self is saying. You're very unique. And this is for a reason. This is for a purpose. You cannot hide it. You can just be it or resist it, but you will always be this unique, beautiful sense of creature. <laughs> I want to say a creature. So very, very beautiful energy here initiation okay so some of you are maybe just now realizing that there's more could be kind of new to this crossing the threshold let's see what this is about four of voices ace of materials seven of emotions okay eight of materials Kind of all over the place here with we have finances here and we have death it could be a scorpio don't have to be you guys had a lot of tarot that came around and the materials lots of changes in just life okay just practical things are definitely changing let's see what your practical card was look at the bigger picture yeah so it seems like some things are definitely shifting um but the comfort that you're gonna find we have sagittarius comfort that we're going to find in this energy is knowing that you're not alone and that this is something that you're going through that you're experiencing currently whatever it is that you're experiencing emotionally that's got you kind of all over the place here because we have the four voices some of you guys could be coming out of it going into it but i do see the peace here peace 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 is something that's really big here i want to just keep saying that peace peace is coming Okay. So I definitely sense that there's some things here with just your career taking off. Um, we do have the ace of materials, which we will confirm. And I do want to just mention that the death card is here. So there is something that you're undergoing and it does seem like an initiation. What I know that you guys might be hearing this a lot, but if you are seeing 1111 or ones, then this is all about your initiation. So I like to see the two ones as two doorways kind of going through. And this just means, again, the death card is here, which would mean that you are going through an ego death. And I know it sounds painful, but understand that death is good when you're in pain, right? We want things to end. Not all things keep going that are pleasurable, right? There are some things that we want to say stop to. And I definitely feel that embracing this death, it's not scary, <laughs> But embracing this is also going to get you a lot further. Okay. So let's see what this is about deck four. All right. Why is the four of voices here? Okay. There's a need for like resting your mind and not worrying. Like if you could just take a worry free day, where you just didn't worry. And I know it sounds impossible, but if it does sound impossible, then that's a problem because peace is definitely something that I'm here, that I'm seeing that is here to give you a lot of happiness and fulfillment um, with yourself, with the four voices, with being able to make decisions, being yourself, all of that matters. We do have the six of um, inspiration. So I do see that there is some type of recognition here. So some of you guys could be receiving recognition um, or could be in the spotlight here. And I'm feeling like, or meant to be in the spotlight. We're going to confirm why the six of inspiration is here for deck four. An empowering message that I'm meant to hear. 
ace of inspiration. Okay. So this might be something that inspires you to maybe want to get um, more social about it, want to put more energy in it. I think that something is coming that's going to raise your energy. It's coming from a place of rest. Okay. It's coming from your relaxation place. So it could come in meditation. It could come, I'm seeing a spiritual bath. That was something I was first seeing is just kind of like taking a bath with the music for maybe 15, 20 minutes and just, you know, imagining kind of what it is that you want. You have powerful manifestation skills if you're here, Deck 4, because I'm feeling that powerful manifestation skills. Let's see what else they have. One more. Thank you. Okay. And then your overall theme, you had three cards. Falling, the unknown, okay, yeah. Nature communication, yeah, but you have help and you have uh, messages that come to you, which is why the 1111 has been coming to you or the numerology, Those that is just communication from external beings, you know? I didn't know that sounds crazy, but it is definitely true that it is not by coincidence that you would see these numbers uh, quite frequently or often, okay? So it says all must have prizes, trying to please everyone. We got some people pleasing energy here. And then we also have falling, change, the unknown. So there is a path that you're meant to take here, okay? But it seems a little bit nerve wracking because you're either you don't know how it's gonna happen, that's what it seems like. And there, there is some recognition from this there is like promotional things from this so take this how it resonates whatever this unknown pathway could be whatever it is it's inspiring to you okay it lights you up okay some of you you're in the spotlight in this new change in your life okay muse of inspiration look at this fire flame something is shifting here so if you're going through a period of uncertainty it's coming to an end Nature is very big. Peace is very big. Being aware of when you do not feel at peace is very big. We also have the nine of inspiration. So all of this fire energy, you guys, could be an Aries, definitely a Sagittarius if you're here. We have that twice. Or a Leo, you don't have to be. But we have a lot of energy all over the place. Okay, let's see, confirm before we move forward why the death is here for deck four. Whoa. Whoa. Nine of materials, we have materials. So it's something about your career, okay? Something about moving forward with some type of career, having the patience for to do it the right way. Don't rush anything. That's what I'm hearing. Have the patience for it to, to manifest. Give it time, not to rush it. You know, even a plant takes a long time to grow. Sometimes we get so like used to instant things like shopping and prime that we're like, oh, what? It's going to take seven days to get here. The heck kind of life. No, patience. And it's very challenging when you're living in a world that's okay. So there is a bigger picture to the things that are happening, even in your career, um, housing, relocation situations, car situations, um, jobs, uh, some of you could definitely be into fashion. You don't have to be, but we do have a lot of inspiring, creative energy. This is who you are naturally. And spirits like, listen, if you can let yourself be seen, okay, there's a lot that will come from this. Obstacles and challenges, okay. Insight, okay. So you guys got the third eye chakra. So every group pretty much had a chakra that naturally came out on its own, which what I found was pretty insane. Um, but you guys had the insight. And this just means to be a little bit more open to just guidance from outside of yourself to make some of these things happen. Um, I know that we question, we have big dreams. We question how it's going to happen. We must understand that the how is not our responsibility. It's in fact, the how comes from going through the unknown. You don't know how until you go through. Then once you figure out how, others will ask you how, and that creates even more income for yourself. So I do see that some of you may even be positioning yourself as an expert. 
um, to many others, but I'm definitely feeling like the biggest thing here is material changes, is being patient for material changes, being patient with yourself to believe in yourself enough to know that your dreams could become true, being patient with going over these obstacles and challenges and understanding that I'm seeing the biggest, like just source of freedom that you're gonna have, if anything, is to know you are not here to please everyone. You are not here to please anyone, in fact. And when you become free of caring about what people think of you, you are gonna fly like nobody. <laughs> I mean, it's a wrap. So now, again, you could have been drawn to deck one. I definitely feel like if you're going back and forth, go back to that deck, definitely feel like you can be drawn to that because you're learning your authority and seeing the bigger picture, trusting, okay? So with this insight card here, this is definitely telling me that the third eye, okay? This means spiritual eye, your intuition. How do I know if this is right for me? Your intuition will let you know, you will see it, okay? So let's get some more clarity on insight, okay? Why is the insight card here? One card for insight, for deck four. Insight, why is insight here? Nine of emotions, yeah. So you will have insight on how to manifest some wish, some wishes. We have the nine of emotions, but we have the Aladdin, um, the Aladdin glass where you ask for wishes. And that's exactly what this is here with the nine of emotions, this is a wish come true. So there's jewelry here that could be prevalent to some of you, but I'm definitely seeing that material. There's just so much like creative stuff here that you are here to embrace so much color, so much life for you to see, to explore. Okay. So there's more for you to know, more for you to learn. And this comes from your insight, from your third eye, from your intuition, from your higher self. Okay, so this is very, very beautiful. The nine of emotions would also mean that you have something that's going to happen very, very soon here in a practical matter that's going to bless you. It's going to be a wish come true, something practical. Again, some of you guys could be getting approved. I hear a lot of approvals. You've been approved. You've been approved, approved. That's all I keep hearing for those of you. Okay. Okay, the hangman. So yeah, some of you are just being kind of encouraged to see things from a different perspective while they are unfolding. Okay, last card for the insight for third eye. Why is this here? What do you want them to know? Four of inspiration. Yeah, unity, harmony. This is going to bring you to your soul tribe. This is going to also attract beautiful people in your life is the gift of your intuition that you do have. Okay, one more card. I want to confirm the death. Why is the death here? One more time. Two of inspiration. Yeah, something is going to have to end here for something new to start, which, you know, usually happens. Something must end for something else to begin. But just know that whatever is ending, what is not as good as what's beginning. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Whatever is ending, because it is practically could be, again, it's something practical in your life, career, tangible things, movement away from housing, uh, relocation for some of you. Um, just many, many things here of a different travel. Like there's a, a need for like an exploration here. Now don't feel like you have to do something drastic. Some of you are just going to explore some different places. So whatever challenging things that are happening in your life right now are actually encouraging you to kind of see what else could be out there. So definitely what I'm seeing is this relationship that you have with your higher self, which is the insight. Okay. The third eye. This higher self that you have is like a best friend guiding you, okay? Just guiding you like, you know, you're going to make it through this. Don't focus on the now, focus on the bigger picture because the bigger picture is going to make you feel good. It's going to shift your energy. It's going to be what's creating and manifesting and birthing all of these dreams and ideas into manifestation. But if we feel bad, it keeps us in a low frequency. See deck four, you're learning more about yourself. The more you know about yourself, the more you know how to use the power that you do have. Lots of inspiration here, but I feel like lots of inspiration to let go. Let go of things outside of your control and trust, trust that you are not alone doing this. 
So let's see what question spirit has for you. Wait, spirit wants you to ponder on one question for deck four. Thank you. How can I be more flexible right now? What are you trying to control? <laughs> Look at the bottom here. It says close encounters. I love it. The butterfly. I love it. Yeah, the butterfly's in the cage, though. The butterfly. Look at the butterfly. You're the butterfly. You're the butterfly. And it's interesting because I actually have a cage here tattooed. Many people don't know that, but that's what inspired me is just the bird is free, but the person is not. And this is what inspired me to want to spread more freedom. And I'm just seeing like, you're the butterfly. Look at all the, wow, oh my God, the color, the color, the flowers, the life. You're a life bringer. You just have this energy to you. And so you're learning that maybe I can't make this up. Spirit coming through. Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. What are you trying to control? Okay. Cause spirit's trying to free you from many situations. And one of them is living a life that you feel like is not fulfilling you. Okay. Let's get one more card actually for the life that you're, what you're meant to, to experience death for. What's coming next for them? What do you want them to experience? Enlightenment. Look at that. That's crazy. Divine support. But you're not doing it alone. So much purple. Royalty. Royalty. Okay? You're not doing this alone. Divine support. Just like the sun comes up. I mean, if, if we were, if we, if it was on us to bring the sun up, yeah, the sun probably would never get up. Be like, whose turn is it? Yours? It was your turn to bring the sun up. Dang. Listen, we are taken care of every single day every single day. Scarcity is a programmed mindset. Okay. I'm not going to preach too much, but I'm just letting you know that you're definitely here for enlightenment. And this is the crown chakra. So the third eye, what happens after that is the crown chakra, knowing that you're loved, knowing that you're not here alone. So this is a beautiful, beautiful message for you guys. If you guys chose deck number four to stay encouraged, but just to be a little bit more open to spiritual energy. Okay. Feelings that you don't really know or understand, but just something tells you, you know, it's just that feeling where you just know, focus more on that. And it's going to take you to the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is enlightenment, divine support, priorities. The bigger picture is the decisions, the childlike expression and belonging. Okay. So I definitely feel generosity at the bottom of the deck that the bigger picture is to get some things in order now so that you can have fulfillment soon, very, very soon. So if you guys are here for this reading, thank you so much for being a part of it. And don't forget to like this video if it inspired you guys. Don't forget to comment down below if you're looking for some type of feedback or to connect with Soul Tribe. In the meantime, I'm off to the next pick a card reading. Obviously, as I mentioned in the beginning, don't forget to check the description box and the pinned comment for secret pick a card readings as I will be posting more off the grid. Wishing you guys the best of, of empowerment and true love and light. I'm out.